This is the Evelina Children's Hospital, part of the Guys in St Thomas's NHS Foundation Trust. Around here, there is a curiously high population of penguins. Okay, uh, so there are a lot of penguins in here. Could you tell <laughs> us about, about those? About our colony of penguins that live in the Evelina, I certainly can. So the Evelina Children's Hospital is based around the natural world, the theme of it, and the children's transplant and specialist kidney clinics are in the penguin zone. Um, not sure how many penguins are in the room. There's, we say it's a colony rather than a number. This is Gronja Walsh, the specialist nurse for the Children's Transplant Service. Each year, she helps the Evelina's transplant patients to compete in a mini Olympics. It's called the Westfield Health British Transplant Games. Although the sport is a huge part of the transplant games, but we believe it's giving us the opportunity of providing or facilitating support for, for the transplant patients, but also for their brothers and sisters, for their parents and for their extended family. So it's about getting away and celebrating life. Gronje has asked us to put together a film of this year's event to try to show what it is all about. To do this, we have enlisted the help of the children, who, with their own camera, will help document the games firsthand. So here's the film. Everywhere we go! Everywhere we go! arriving for the official opening ceremony. All of the hospital teams are gathering here in the centre of Newcastle to form up and parade through the busy city streets to the City Hall. Once at the City Hall, Key figures will voice their support of and excitement about the games and the teams will be able to enjoy performances. This year from Evolution and Joe McKeldry and they'll get to see the transplant flame lift. There's not much evidence for it here, but these people have all had their lives irreversibly touched by the need for transplant surgery. And so we headed to Evelina London to find out more about what that means. So all of the children that attend this room have had kidney transplants at some point. Now what a lot of people don't know is that when you have a kidney transplant you remain a patient for life because a kidney isn't a cure, it doesn't suddenly take away your whole issues. If you have a kidney transplant, then the follow-up is intense, and so our children who, some of them will have to travel at least three hours to get here, may have to come here 50 or 60 times in a year and spend upwards of three or four hours at a time, sometimes getting admitted with no warning, um, and it can be scary. So it's about us becoming part of, a little like their extended family. However, the children's vital blood tests, examinations, and possibly other procedures can make any hospital not their favourite place to be. Come on. Oh, hey, you ready? Even for a normal outpatient's appointment. But everyone agrees it's worth it. Incredible, like he never sits still, he's always running around, which isn't always a good thing as being his mum, because it's tiring, but it's just, it's just amazing. Like, and like his development as well, like his speech, and like he was a little bit delayed before and it's just improved so much. It's just his quality of life is, is just so much better. I find the worst one to have my transplant, because before I had my transplant I used to never eat, never drink, just sit in the corner, I do colouring in. And now I'm like, don't want to be inside, I want to be out and doing things. Cameron's transplant was only five months ago, but he can already feel a big difference. You're a good reason, aren't you? Yeah, 
I'm almost in February. You can tell by the steroid cheeks. Yeah, you can. <laughs> but you'll no, get really bad bigger. steroid cheeks afterwards. Yeah. They're a lot bigger than they are now. I'm happy they've gone down. So how do you feel since you I feel a lot better because I used to get really tired. I had to finish school early because I was too tired. But since the transplant, like every, it's basically like a new life because you feel a lot better. And you just get up, you can get on with more things without worrying about stuff. So the transplant games are enormous. If you can imagine that if you have a very rare or unusual condition, you might be the only child in your school that has that, that has to take these medicines, that has to go to hospital so often. Um, and by having a, an opportunity to mix with other kids and families who have had uh, the same worries and anxieties and experiences at the hospital, um, it gives you an enormous positive experience. So what, what, what does the chance for games mean to you? A lot. Get to meet up with people that um, you don't normally see. Sometimes you, they're really annoying, but like that one there, <laughs> she's quite annoying. <laughs> Emily and Jemima first met six years ago to transplant games in Belfast and have been good friends ever since. Archery was the first event for the Evelina team, who fielded some experienced pros, intrepid first timers trying something new. Okay, so we're here for archery, um, 15 to 19 age group, and we've got George, who's just over here, and we've got Jemima, and they're both beginners, but they're hugely excited and they're both doing very well. There were also one or two competitors who may have unearthed a hidden talent. You've really never done this before. Yeah. You've secretly been doing it, haven't you? That's so really However, the team's ethos is clear. And I know that you know, underlying, you all want to, you know, you all want to win. But, but you know, in, within the within the Evelina team, we do really encourage the fact that it isn't really about the winning, no, it's and it about is about the taking part. it is about the taking part, and it is it's not who who runs the fastest or Grabbing who who comes back with the most number of medals, but it really is about you know you achieving your own personal best. The next two days, Saturday and Sunday, aim to offer as many activities as possible. We began to see more clearly the real importance of the games, as well as the team's spirit and enjoyment. Matthew Snell here is well placed to explain this real importance because he is the father of a transplant patient himself. He is also chair of the Friends of Evelina VIPs, a committee dedicated to supporting transplant patient families. There's no real seriousness about it, it's a case of enjoy what they can, try different sports and the most important thing is, especially what we've learned, is that it's what they can do with it afterwards. Some have gone on and really enjoyed it, enjoyed clubs outside of the sort of the, the, the Evelina team and they're doing it on a regular basis which is fantastic, that's what you want them to do. You want them to grab hold of a sport, know that they can do it, know that they can even compete or, or more importantly just get out there and meet people. And the thing is, is that through sport you can meet people, you can socialise. But it's not just about the, the medical side, yes that's one thing, but the social side that this, pe this gives people is, is just phenomenal. So and you, can't, you can't really bottle what they do or bottle what they have, but they, they all instantly know each other because they, they have a common bond in what they've gone through. The fact that this is offered is fantastic and I think that gives them the opportunity that a bit of sport, a bit of physical activity really helps and promotes the healthy aspect, which then in turn hopefully means that they have less sort of um, illness, yeah, so they have less time in hospital, they have less time on, on you know, having to do extra medication and, and actually they enjoy what they're doing which keeps the, the, the kidney, from what our perspective is, yeah, they keep the kidney healthy and, and obviously they're then healthy. What do you think of today then? Oh, it's been an amazing day, I've just, I've, I've got through to the finals. What? <laughs> How good do you think you were? Huh? How good do you reckon you were? I like went a million miles per hour, like that fast. Yeah. No. Quick. Uh, do you reckon Evelyn is going to win the transplant games this year? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Positive. Positive. We're also learning about a greater significance of the games, the impact on families. 
for us, like the, as his parents, I think it's just um, to have the opportunity to meet other parents that have gone through the same situation as us and know like what the sort of day to day is like, and how difficult it is, and hearing the stories and seeing people that have gone through this and still where they are now, you know, like still how long their kidney's been going and stuff like that. What would you say the best thing to socialise in? I think just actually seeing Bo from, you know, how unwell he was to being able to run around and just play with the other children and, and in fact, like all the kids, like what an inspiration they are um, at such a young age and just their outlook on life is just so positive and uplifting. It gives you encouragement and to, it makes it worthwhile for you to kind of keep like pushing them, you know, to do as well as they can. I think it's just the, the whole the whole thing, seeing the other children is just amazing. Siblings also gain from the event. My sister is Lucy. She had a kidney transplant uh, two years ago. So, what's it like being the brother of somebody who's had a transplant? It, it definitely is a bit different because you feel like you're sort of the odd one out in um, in your friend group. But coming to transplant games, you you meet other people and it makes you feel more normal. So that um, you you get to bond with them and make make yourself feel a bit more normal. <laughs> This year's Games also saw a new event, the Donor Relay. This was established to celebrate the donators of organs' life-saving sacrifices. Excited? Um, that's a bit hard to say. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to it. It's good to have a go myself, uh, finally. The boys up there, Sam's up there watching, double gold medalist, so uh, I've got a lot to live up to, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> We're excited! We're excited! <laughs> This event took place on the last day of the Games, which was devoted to an array of track and field events, and of course, the children put on a strong show as well. I think you were too fast for me. And I was trying to follow you like that, and you just. <laughs> <laughs> and it was all rounded off with the traditional children versus adults tug of war. With this year's guest team captain Jeremy Kyle, the determination at this event was real. So we can't let them win, okay? Did you hear them at the opening ceremony? They were taking it down for a second. No adults are winning, okay? Right, this is serious. We got pumped up. Yeah. Are you ready? Hey! Needless to say, they were victorious, and they wrapped up the last event on a high. <laughs> However, there was one vital element to the week's games that we've yet to touch on, the evening special team event. <laughs> I think it's also incredible to say that we were a very lucky team. We have big support from our hospital charity, yes. we have Dream yeah. from our kidney patients charity and, and this doesn't come cheap and free and, and I think it's it's really important to think that actually you don't want to stop money to stop any of our families ever experiencing this. Mm. It's 
truly is a real celebration of life. I go away I think with a sense of pride. I think our team are pretty amazing the way they gel together. And again, we were sitting just waiting at the end of the athletics today and another team and another mummy from a team came up and said, look at your kids, aren't they just an amazing group the way they're all gel together? And you do step back and you think, yeah, they are. Yeah, they really are. And um, yeah, that makes me proud. Everybody's achieved something here this weekend. Regardless of whether they've won, won a medal or not, they've all gone away with something. Um, and they amaze me. Every time I see them, they do something that amazes me. Something like this, perhaps. The Evelina VIPs won the prestigious Best Kidney Team Award. The Evelina VIPs would like to thank the following key supporters. If you would like to fundraise for the Evelina team, please visit this website and indicate that you are supporting the Children's Transplant Fund. If you haven't already, please also consider registering as an organ donor. You could save somebody's life.